Jason Kelly picked up the victory last night for the limited late models. Jason back in action this evening, looking to make it two in a row for the weekend. The green flag is out. We're underway. And a good start off the bottom for Franny Vanoy, but Bill Stevens rocketing around the outside. He'll take the lead off of turn number two. Had a couple of cars getting together in the back. Looks like Gary Hunter and Howie Marks tagging one another. Oh, and Vanoy, very tight. Going to push Arcy all the way to the wall. Bill Stevens going to lead lap number one. Vanoy in second spot. Arcy is third. Then it's Farquhar, Marks, and Hunter rounding out the field. Bill Stevens already opened up about a straightaway gap over the rest of the field. Going to come off a of turn number four to complete lap number two. It's still Bill Stevens out front. A good battle for the second spot. Vanoy working the bottom. Pete Arcy going to motor around on the top side of the racetrack. He'll take over the runner-up position. Vanoy going to slip back to third in the 31V. A good run for Freddie Vanoy. Started on the pole, has slipped back to third, but maintaining the third position right now. Here comes Howie Marks, though, trying to close the gap and take over that third position as Bill Stevens leads lap number three. Pete Arcy trying to run him down in second spot. Racetrack with quite a bit of moisture in it, but you can already see a little bit of dust being kicked up coming into turn number one. It's going to dry out as the night goes on. We've got those big sprint car tires going to be out here in just a few moments. They're going to pull a lot of moisture out of this place as we cross the halfway mark already. Four down and four to go for Bill Stevens. Stevens walking the dog on him here in heat race number one. Pete Arce a distant second right now, closing the gap just a little bit, but not enough to really get up there and challenge for the lead. We've got Hunter getting around Farquhar for fifth. Dakota Farquhar going to slip back to the sixth position. Bill Stevens still way out front. Five down, three to go that time by at the stripe. Arce up in the loose stuff on the top of the racetrack, hanging on to that second position. Into turn three, off of turn four. Bill Stevens going to be looking at two sticks, two laps to go, one half mile around South Texas Speedway. Oh, and Howie Marks going to lose the handle on the 13 machine at the bottom of turn number three. Going to lose one spot, probably two. Yeah, Dakota Farquhar. Well, going to give him some room. Mark's going to hang on to the fifth position as we come into turn number one. Meanwhile, back up front, Bill Stevens looking at the white flag. One lap to go. Pete Arce has closed the gap considerably. It's down to less than half a straightaway. And Arce drives the number nine machine in deep into turn number one. Gets a good run off the exit of turn number two. It's going to be good coming into turn three. Arce once again right up on the bumper of the 13 machine, but it's too little too late. Bill Stevens going to hang on for the heat race win. R.C. going to come across the line in second in dramatic fashion, taking the scenic route through the infield there. Third spot going to go to Freddie Vanoy. Then it's Gary Hunter, Howie Marks, and Dakota Farquhar going to round out the field. There you go. And Dylan Mosley going to round out the field. The green flag is out. We are live with heat race number two and Matt Fox firing out of a cannon on the opening circuit. Going to lead the field into turn number one, toting the left front off of turn number two. Jason Kelly hanging on there in second spot. Fox trying to retake the lead for sure in the point standings after losing something in the drivetrain last night. Fox going to be working hard to grab the victory here this evening. Had it sewed up last night. And something letting go on the 53X machine about midway through the feature. Giving the win to Jason Kelly. Kelly right now hanging out of that second position. Adrian Awalt trying to get around him for that second spot. Awalt right on the tail tank as we come into turn number three. Two laps complete. Matt Fox still out front. Kelly in second. Awalt third. That first, that group of first three really kind of tight. Matt Fox opening up almost a straightaway advantage just as I say that down the back shoot into three. A good battle for the second spot starting to shape up. AWOL looking down towards the bottom of the racetrack. Couldn't get the 17 pointed down there good enough. Jason Kelly hanging onto the runner up spot for now. Kelly like I said picking up the victory here last night at South Texas Speedway in the limited late model main event. Jason Kelly has been here a few times this season, sitting 11th in points right now. Three features here that he's ran, has been in the top five all three times and made it two wins last night. So 66% of Jason Kelly's visits to South Texas Speedway have ended in victory lane. Kelly would like to make it three out of four this evening, and right now he's running down Matt Fox. Kelly probably the fastest car on the racetrack as Fox gets real snug off the exit of turn number four. The lead now down to half a car length as we come into turn one. Look at the dig in the 53X machine coming off of turn two. We've got Dylan Mosley around in three. 
So, Dylan. Gentlemen. We're going to bunch them up and get right back at it. The green flag is back out. We are back underway. Five down and three to go in heat race number two. Matt Fox once again toting the left front through turns one and two. The car gets unsettled right in the transition, and Jason Kelly capitalizing on the mistake has closed the gap to nothing coming into turn number three. Here comes Adrian Awalt trying to make it a three-car battle for the top spot. As we come to two to go, Kelly makes the move off the bottom of turn number four. Jason Kelly showing that he knows his way around South Texas Speedway, takes the lead from Matt Fox on lap number six. We're working number seven right now, coming into turn number three, Matt Fox playing defense, trying to play catch up. Looks to the bottom as the white flag comes out, not gonna be enough, Kelly leads lap number seven. Into turn one, one more time, Matt Fox with two more shots at retaking the top spot and winning heat race number two. Now with one more shot, gonna have to get a good run into turn number three. Not going to be enough, I don't believe. No, nah, Jason Kelly going to hang on and take the heat race victory here at South Texas Speedway. Second row, it's going to be the 5A of Eric Rahi. To his outside will be the 9W of Roy Walker. Ashley Dunker and Roger Sturts going to make up row number three. The lights are out. The green flag is coming out this time by. We're underway with Iman heat race number one. Eric Rahi. Making it three wide off the bottom of turns one and two. Perez on the top side. Both of them trying to get around Brianna Weechi. Rahi's going to get it done. Perez will into turn three. Now Rahi and Perez door to door off of turn four. Rahi going to lead lap number one. He's your point leader in Iman competition. Ten points over James Lee in the 563. Everybody shuffling through turns one and two. Here comes Roy Walker to get around Brianna Weechi. Walker sitting fourth in the point standings right now. Only 25 points out of the top spot. Emont competition has been stiff here at South Texas Speedway in 2018. Eric Rahi, your point leader. Like I said, he's leading heat race number one right now. He's got one win on the season, nine top fives and ten top tens out of 11 features. So Eric Rahi been consistent all season long. And has got the 5A machine atop the point standings. Gilbert Perez in second spot. There's still a good battle for third. Roy Walker working the bottom of the racetrack right now underneath Brianna Weechie. They're door to door off of turn number two. Walker with a little bit of an edge as we come into turn three. Weechie driving around the outside, going to retake the third spot off the top of turn number four. Nah, Roy Walker battling back on the bottom. I say that. They're nearly wheel to wheel at the start finish line. A great race for third spot in Emod Heat Race number one. Walker going to make the move finally around Brianna Weechi off of turn number two down the back stretch. We should be coming to five down and three to go this time around. Eric Rahi has stretched it out to almost a straightaway over Gilbert Perez. Rahi very comfortable right now in the 5A machine. Perez all the way to the top of the racetrack, not where he wants to be. Here comes Walker on the bottom to take over second spot. Door to door into turn number three. Perez real snug again on the entrance. Roy Walker going to make the move off the bottom of turn number four. Walker up to second spot in heat race number one. Perez playing catch up now. The car once again very tight on the entry of turn number one. Something may be going away on the three car. Gilbert struggling right now to get the car to rotate through the corners. Your leader, Eric Rahi, going to take the white flag. Puts a lap down on Ashley Dunker. Leads the field once again for the final time in the turn number one. Roy Walker and Gilbert Perez now bumper to bumper. There's contact there through the middle of turns one and two. Walker able to hang on to the 9W. Perez now going to dive bomb him into turn number three. He'll put a slide job on Roy Walker and take the spot. Rahi going to take the win. Perez in second. Weechi will be third. Roy Walker with some issues on the last lap. Going to take home fourth spot. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Eric Rahi taking the win in heat race number one. Gilbert Perez with a great move off the bottom of turn number four. James Lee going to be inside of row number two. Crystal Smith to the outside in the 17. Last night's feature winner, Joshua Sewell, inside row three alongside the Z76 of Zach Courtney. Green flag is out. We're underway. Laven going to lead the field into turn number one. Dwayne McCorder in second spot. Here comes second place in points. James Lee in the 563. Had a flat tire last night. Had to go to the back of the pack. Cost him some ground in the point standings. But Lee working third spot, hanging on to it right now. One in the books and seven to go. Chase Laven 
Showing them the way right now in heat race number two. Walking away from Dwayne McWhorter. McWhorter right now sitting second in the point stand, or third in the point standings, excuse me. Seven points out of second spot and only 17 out of first. Once again, point competition and racing in general here for the Emons has been tight and very competitive. Right now, Joshua Sewell leading the W column right now, sitting seventh in points, but he's got four wins on the season. Sewell missing a couple of races and having a couple of low finishes has put him back seventh in the point standings right now, but he's got four wins. The 38 car been very fast all season long. Chase Laven still your leader in the 15 car. Dwayne McCorder sitting in second spot. James Lee third in the 563. Joshua Sewell right now in the fourth position trying to close the gap and gain a couple of spots. Working right now with James Lee for the third position. We should be coming to two to go either this time or next time. Looks like it'll be next time. We got five down and three to go right here for Laban in the 15 car. Sewell getting around James Lee for third at the stripe. Going to hang on to that spot as we come into turn number one. Chase Laven once again leads the field into turn number three. Right behind him, though, the battle is heating up as Sewell gets snug, as does McWhorter. Here comes James Lee. Dwayne McWhorter now off the pace in the 10 E car. Problems for Dwayne. Looks like maybe the car just slipping out of gear. Dwayne gets it put back in and fired back up. The car comes back to life, and he's back underway, but at the back of the pack now. White flag going to be in the air this time around for the 15 of Chase Laven. A good run for Laban right now in the 15 car. One win on the season last year. Chase looking to pick up that second career victory here in EMOD competition at South Texas Speedway. Checkered flag going to be in the air this time around. Chase Laban going to take the win in EMOD heat race number two. Second spot going to go to Joshua Sewell, last night's feature winner. Third spot will be James Lee in the 563. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Chase Lake, Mike Harelka inside row three in the 19, alongside Nathan Rahi in the 25, Marsha Hall in the 20 machine, and Aaron Letty driving the number 93, make up row number four. The green flag is out. We're underway with Pure Stock Heat Race number one. Sean Ward and TJ Sullivan drag race into turn number one. Give the nod to Ward as we come into the first corner. He'll lead the field off the first set of corners. We got two wide and three wide, nearly four wide down the back stretch. Into turn number three. It's anybody's game coming into the second set of corners. Ward very sideways through three and four. Going to lead lap number one. Sullivan right there behind him. Gary McDonald now. On the bottom of the racetrack into turn number one, side by side with TJ Sullivan through the first set of corners. Lap number one in the book, seven to go. Here comes Nathan Rahi, door to door now. Into turn number three, that's for third. Rahi and Sullivan, very sideways on entry. Gary McDonald underneath Ward. McDonald gonna make the move and take the lead off of turn number four. McDonald with the spot at the stripe, but Ward battling back around the outside of the racetrack into turn number one. Sean Ward gonna get great dig off the top side of turn number two. Ward going to retake the top position down the back stretch. You see the nose dive as he dabs the brakes coming into turn number three. McDonald going to try to put a slide job on him. Slides Ward up the racetrack. Is it going to be enough? No, nah, Sean Ward going to lead lap number three. Ward fighting tooth and nail to hang on to that top spot. Here comes Aaron Letty from the back. Makes it three wide down the back stretch. Into turn number three. It's still three wide. Sean Ward, oh, there's contact for sure. McDonald going to tag the back of Ward. Ward going to lose two spots. McDonald going to lose about four. Aaron Letty now is your leader. Aaron Letty going to be your leader coming into turn number three. Nathan Rahi up to second spot. Sean Ward back to third. TJ Sullivan in the fourth position. Gary McDonald is fifth. Black flag being pointed at McDonald. Hasn't been waved yet. That's just a warning shot. Shots fired across the starboard bow for Gary McDonald. Aaron Letty, still your leader in the 93 car after starting dead last in this heat race. He's going to take two to go this time around. Second spot, still Nathan Rahi. It's still Sean Ward third. TJ Sullivan fourth. Jesse Sandoval fifth. Down the back stretch off of turn number two. Aaron Letty almost a straightaway advantage already over Nathan Rahi. Going to be looking at the white flag this time off of turn number four. One more lap to go around South Texas Speedway. 
TJ Sullivan now getting around Sean Ward, the WWE body sponsored number 54 machine up to third spot. Your point leader back to fourth. He's in danger from Jesse Sandoval now. Ward got his hands full with the 889 machine. Ward once again to the outside, not gonna be enough. Checker flag gonna wave, Letty gonna take the win. Second spot gonna go to Nathan Rahi. Third spot will be the 54 of TJ Sullivan. Machine tonight inside of row number two. He'll be alongside Joshua McCain in the 8M. Last night's feature winner, James Parks the third in the 33 JP inside of row number three. He'll be alongside the 38 of Joshua Sewell. Yeah, that Joshua Sewell that you just saw in the E-Mod heat races. Miguel Mendoza in the 11 and Chris Vincent in the 18R. We're going green with heat race number two for the Pure Sox. And Torres gonna lead the field into turn number one. Ryan Carlucci working the bottom side of turns one and two in second spot. We're three wide for a brief moment. Joshua McCain splitting the difference between Mendoza and Miller. Mendoza going to loop the number 11 machine in turn number three. Looks like we're going to stay green as Mendoza gets it fired back up, back underway. He'll take the scenic route through the west end of the infield. And we will stay green. Alan Torres out front showing him the way here in heat race number two. Almost to have a straightaway advantage over Ryan Carlucci. Carlucci is first night back in quite some time here to South Texas Speedway. Good to have the kiddo back out on the racetrack and being very competitive right now, running for second spot with James Parks. Parks was your winner last night in the Pure Stock main event, is leading the win column in Pure Stock Racing. I tell you what, Parks sitting fourth in points right now, but he's got five victories in nine features, the most recent coming last night here at South Texas Speedway. Parks would love nothing more than to sweep the weekend and pick up two wins consecutively on consecutive evenings. Halfway home, ladies and gentlemen, four down and four to go. Alan Torres, your leader. Ooh, that's close. I'm giving it to Carlucci at the line by a bumper. Carlucci with the second spot, but Parks gonna make the move into turn number one. Carlucci cuts right back down underneath them. It's a drag race down the backstretch into turn number three. Carlucci on the bottom of the racetrack. Got the preferred line, but Park's going to use the power of the 33 JP on the outside of the racetrack. It's not going to be enough. Carlucci by half a car. Carlucci back into the second position, going to get out in front of James Parks. Look at the run off the top of turn number two. Another drag race into turn number three. That's where the action is, ladies and gentlemen. Your leader, Alan Torres, a straightaway advantage, takes two to go. Ryan Carlucci hanging on to that second spot. JP giving him a run for the money. They are bumping and banging and rubbing all over the racetrack. Chris Vincent going to park the 18R in the infield. His heat race is done. White flag going to be out this time around. Alan Torres with one more quarter mile in heat race number two. Carlucci now solidly into the second position. It's all his. James Parks now looking to the inside of turn number one. Is it going to be enough? No. Parks takes a weird bounce through the middle of the corner, upsets the car just enough to not have a good enough run. Oh, your leader going to have the 75 spin out right in front of him nearly. Alan Torres going to hang on to that win, though. Second spot, anybody's game. Give it to Ryan Carlucci at the line. Third spot, James Parks the third. Fourth spot was Joshua McCain and Joshua Sewell rounding out the top five. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Alan Torres. Second in the feature last night, first in the heat race tonight. Second spot, right at the stripe, going to Ryan Carlucci in the 24, James Pod. Courtney going to start shotgun in heat race number three in row number four. The lights are out. We're going green this time. It is Ware and Walters leading them to it. Daniel Ware on the inside, going to take the green flag, has a bit of an edge down the front chute. But look at Walters on the outside. Jerry Walters, second in point standings right now, is hungry for a win. He's going to get around Daniel Ware for the top spot. Walters going to lead the field into turn number three. Ware on the bottom in the 37W. Daniel Ware, his first visit back in quite some time here to South Texas Speedway. Good to have him back in the 37W. Probably a different surface than the last time he was here. Those notes are going to be a lot different for the setup on the 37W car, but he's hanging with Walters right there for the top spot. It's a drag race down the back chute. We're side by side as well for third on the racetrack. Where? To the bottom of turn number three. Walters on the outside of turn four. The car rotates nicely, and it's going to be Walters at the line. But I tell you what, folks. Any better run off the bottom, it might be Daniel Ware's position coming to the stripe. Logan Shunka now up to the third position. Zach Courtney from the back to fourth in two laps. A heck of a run for that young man as he gets around Jamie Deere. He's going to split the difference, and Deere 
Going to get the nose taken out from underneath him a little bit there. Hangs on to the third spot, and Courtney again making contact with Logan Shunka, but that's what that's what doors and fenders are for from what I hear. Oh, and Jamie Deere and Logan Shunka get together, and Shunka going to go around in turn number two. I bet we get our first caution of heat race number three. Shunka not going to get the 07 refired. We are going to have to get a yellow. And as soon as the yellow flag comes out, the 07 comes back to life. Look, the black flag being shown to the 07 car for not wanting to go to the rear. We'll see what happens. Logan going to stay out. The green flag is out. Jerry Walters leads the field in turn number one. Daniel Ware in second. Zach Courtney, Jamie Deere, and EJ Gilpin round out the top five. A good race down the back chute for second. Zach Courtney takes over the position. Daniel Ware looking to the outside in third. Once again, Courtney started dead last in this heat race and is now racing for the top spot, trying to run down Jerry Walters in the 127. Courtney with his best look that time. The nose of the car washing out just a little bit. Walters powers around the outside. Courtney once again to the bottom of turn number three. Walters trying to cut down and hold the line. He'll do so. One more lap going to be for Jerry Walters. I believe that's five down and three to go. Walters still out front down the back chute. Going to be two to go this time around. Zach Courtney trying to run him down in the second position. You see a little bit of the nosedive as the brakes get dabbed coming into turn number three. Two sticks in the air. Two more laps for Jerry Walters who would love to hang on for a heat race win because that helps out with the position in the feature. Courtney once again to the inside, that time off of turn number two. We got a good run this time into turn three, but not good enough. Walter's going to hang on to the position as the white flag comes out. One more lap to go. Zach Courtney maybe needing to go high because here comes Jamie Deere. And if Courtney goes to the bottom once again in turn number three, Deere going to be there to capitalize on that move. Jerry Walters with a great run that time off of turn number two. It's not going to be enough. Zach Courtney. Not going to have the momentum to take the win. Walter's going to bring it home in heat three. It'll be Courtney second, Jamie Deere third. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, heat race number three in the books for the Pure Stocks. Give it up for Jerry Walters taking home the win, the 127. Zach Courtney from seventh to second at the stripe. And... Miss Smith, it's Larry, oh, excuse me, Mr. Smith, Larry Smith driving this, the 99 car, and John Ramirez piloting the 73. Green flag is out. We're underway with heat race number four, and Danielson off the outside gets around. Broadnecks coming into turn number one. Mason Castaneda right there alongside in second spot. Here comes Castaneda on the bottom. They're three wide off of turn number two. Shiloh nearly getting the nose pinched off the 58 car coming off the second corner. Castaneda and Danielson door to door through three and four. Mason Castaneda going to have the lead off of turn number four. Danielson in second, Broadnax third that time. J.C. Paul in fourth. And Larry Smith rounding out the top five. Broadnax gets back around Robert Danielson for second spot. Danielson, the driver of the red and white number eight machine, going to try to run down the 58 car. Danielson making the toe out from Bernie this weekend as he has every race night here at South Texas Speedway. Robert Danielson been a great supporter of the Pure Stock Division and of South Texas Speedway. Working hard right now to get around Shiloh Brodnax for the second spot. Shiloh opened up about a two-car length advantage coming into turn number three. A little puff of smoke out of the 58 machine, but it seems to be running just fine. Not as well, however, as the leader's car. Mason Castaneda got the 28M set on kill and dialed in for heat race number four. A straightaway advantage going down the back chute into turn number three. We're going to be coming to halfway home. Four down, four to go at the stripe. Danielson with his best look to the inside that time, trying to avoid contact, and Brodnax hangs on to the position. Halfway home, folks. Four down, four to go. In a pure stock heat race number four, Mason Castaneda in his own zip code right now, just kind of on cruise control right around the bottom of the racetrack in the 28M. A little bit smoother surface than we had last night. The car's not nearly as upset coming into the corners as they were last evening. Looks like a lot of drivers working that bottom line once again. Castaneda stretching it out over a straightaway now as we come into turn three. Going to be coming to two sticks. Two laps to go here for Castaneda at the line. One more half mile in heat race number four. 
for the Pure Stocks. 30 strong tonight at South Texas Speedway. One of the largest counts we've had all year for this division. I tell you what, far and away, our biggest class week in and week out. One of the best groups of race cars we've got here at South Texas Speedway. Mason Castaneda coming off of turn number four. Going to take the white flag. One more lap to go in heat race number four. Brodnax a little squirrely that time off of turn four. Lucky for her, so was Danielson. Robert Danielson trying to run her down still in the number eight machine. Can't quite get it done. Castaneda into turn three for the final time. He's going to take the checker flag barring catastrophe. This one belongs to him. And, yeah, he'll take the win in heat race number four. Brodnax going to hang on to second spot. I tell you what, good run for Shiloh. Robert Danielson gave it everything he had coming home in third. Be on the inside of the front row. He'll be alongside last night's feature winner, J.J. Jennings in a 26G. Row number two on the inside of 38 is David Shuri. He's a long five-time and defending track champion, Dustin Butcher in the 90. The wild man, Brock Bowen from Fannin, Texas, inside row three alongside Ray Shalman. And Jerome Ramos, shotgun in row number four. The green is out. We're underway. And Jennings takes the lead off the outside, leads the field into turn number one, but gets squirrely on entry. Here comes Flanagan on the bottom. They're side by side off of turn number two. Jennings going to drag him down the back stretch. We've got the yellow flag out. Yellow flag coming to the speedway, ladies and gentlemen. Put Flanagan on top of the point standings. Cody Beto in second spot, 32 markers back. Same kind of deal. Eight top tens, no wins. Two top fives has put Cody Beto in second spot. Ray Shalman third. Dustin Butcher fourth. Caleb Hudgens rounds out the top five in points right now. We're going green once again with heat race number one and a much better start for Flanagan that time. But Jennings going to lead the field once again into turn number one. A much better drive to the first set of corners. And look at Dustin Butcher with a great run off of turn number two. Going to make it a three-car battle for the top spot. We're three wide coming into turn three with Brock Bowen, Ray Shalman, and David Shuri. And Shuri going to drive it right back into Shalman down the front stretch. And it looks like we're going to cut a left front tire. Something not right with the 38 machine. Shuri may just take it off the speedway. Nope. Going to stick it out there this lap. We've got J.J. Jennings out front. Dustin Butcher has gotten around for second. Flanagan is back to third. Still Jennings out front, down the back chute, into three. Dustin Butcher right there on the bumper coming into the third corner. Hunter Flanagan on the bottom of the racetrack. Not going to be enough. It's still Jennings, Butcher, and Flanagan, your top three. Bowen and Shulman round out the top five. Going to be coming to halfway home, ladies and gentlemen. Four down and four to go. I'll tell you what, Dustin Butcher, probably the fastest car on the racetrack right now, gets a good look to the inside of J.J. Jennings. It's not going to be enough. Jennings going to hang on to the top spot off of turn number four. Still Jennings, Butcher that time with a bad run through one and two. Hunter Flanagan closes the gap. we got a yellow on the racetrack. It's David Shuri around in turn number three. And Shuri going to be up to the top of the racetrack. Four laps down, four laps to go in heat race number one for the limited modifieds. It's J.J. Jennings out front. I tell you what, a good run for the 90 machine. I still think Dustin Butcher, possibly the fastest car on the racetrack, and take over the top position. The car a little bit squirrely that time off the bottom of turns three and four. We got four down, four to go. We're going to go green flag this time off of turn number four. J.J. Jennings going to lead him to it. We are back on the throttle and back underway, and Brock Bowen looking to the inside of Hunter Flanagan off of turn number four. Bowen to the bottom of the racetrack, going to try to make it a run for the third position. A good run. The car sticks and grips real nice off the bottom of turn number two. Bowen and Flanagan door-to-door -door into turn number three. Flanagan that time pushing wide through the corners, and Bowen going to take the position. Brock Bowen up to third in the innovative racing chassis. Flanagan and Butcher and... J.J. Jennings, for that matter, running Hughes Racing Chassis. So three of the top four cars right now, Hughes Chassis. We come into two to go this time around. Jennings walking away with this one at the moment. Dustin Butcher in second spot trying to close the gap. I say walking away. It's about two car lengths, but Butcher can't really do anything about it coming into turn number three. Butcher sideways, real loose to the transition, and Bowen trying to close the gap as the white flag comes out. One more lap to go in heat race number one. 
Bowen now very snug on entry. Flanagan all the way to the top side of the racetrack. Not going to have enough to get around and make the move for third. Checker flag going to be out this time around the win. Going to go to J.J. Jennings. Second spot going to be Dustin Butcher. And Bowen going to round out of the podium in third. We are missing the 11T of Tom Growth use. So six cars going to be the field. Eight laps going to be the distance. Heat race number two for the limited modifieds going green this time off of four. Brian Rye and Hector Aguirre door to door into turn number one. Aguirre slides up the racetrack, but Rye just grips it and rips it off of turn number two. Going to hang on to the top spot as we come into turn three. Aguirre trying to make it a run in the drag race. Give the nod to Rye as we come into three. He'll hold the position coming off of four. Cody Beto right there in the mix, trying to make it a three car battle for the lead. Beto on the outside of Aguirre coming into turn number one. It's not enough. Aguirre hangs on to that second position. Look at the run that Beto gets off the top side, though. A good run down the back chute into turn number three. Aguirre going to slide up and take the line away. Beto hard on the brakes, and here comes Chris Rye now battling for third. Brian Rye still out front, the 184. Hector Aguirre holding on to that second spot right now. Cody Beto now playing defense, trying to hang on to that third spot. Chris Rye right behind him in fourth. Beto with a good run into turn number three, slides up the racetrack. The car rotates very nicely. And he'll stretch the lead on Rye just a little bit. Chris Rye hanging on to that fourth spot. Slides in hard to the bottom of turn number one. We're going to be coming across flags. Four down, four to go this time around. Brian Rye, still your leader. A good run for the 184 machine out of Corpus Christi, Texas. He'll have the lead on lap number four. Halfway home, four down, four to go. Aguirre, about three car lengths back in second. Oh, the car slips up that time. I don't know if Beto got into him or not, but Beto going to get around as Aguirre spins. In turn number two. Green flag back out. We're back into turn number one. A good run for Chris Rye that time through turns one and two. Not going to be enough to take over the second spot. Hector Aguirre going to hang on to the runner-up position. Brian Rye, top side in turn number three. Aguirre right underneath him off of turn number four. Cody Beto working hard to come up from the back of the field. Gets around Larry Lewis for fourth. We come to two to go on the front stretch. Brian Rye still your leader. Aguirre in second. Chris Rye third. Beto now back to fourth. It's Lewis and Blevins that round out the field. Brian Ryan going to be looking at the one eight at the white flag this time around, driving the 184 machine. One lap to go, one quarter mile around South Texas Speedway. Brian Rye got a straightaway advantage just about over Aguirre as we come into turn three for the final time. The, the checkered flag going to be out the win. Going to go to Brian Rye, the 184. Aguirre going to be second. Chris Rye will be third. Cody Beto going to have to settle for fourth after coming from the back. Third in last night's main event to the outside in the 2X. And Harry Arrington rounding out the field in the 02. Heat race number one, seven cars. The field eight laps the distance. Gulf South region sprint car is going to be going green off of turn number four. Green flag gonna fly. We're gonna be side by side off of turn number four. Green's out, we're underway. Dustin Gates gonna have the lead off of turn number two. Michael McNeil in second spot. Tucker Dowdy's up to third already. The Sunnyvale, Texas driver making his first appearance at South Texas Speedway. Is sitting in third spot right now. Finished third in the feature last night. Dustin Gates out front by almost a straightaway already. Michael McNeil in second spot. Dowdy there in third. Dale Wester fourth. A good battle shaping up for fifth. Chris Sweeney on the bottom of the racetrack in turn number three. Oh, Vaculic very sideways through the middle of the corner. Sweeney going to take over the spot. Vaculic back to sixth. Harry Arrington rounding out the field in seventh right now. Dustin Gates, your leader, showing on the way here in heat race number one. A straightaway advantage over Michael McNeil in second spot. A good battle starting to shape up for third. Tucker Dowdy struggling a little bit. Dale Wester right there in, in fourth spot. Oh, Michael McNeil smacks the wall off a of turn number two. 
The line right up around the outside of the racetrack is Dustin Gates, very close to the wall as well. We're halfway home, four down, four to go. Gates working through turns one and two very nicely, going down the back stretch into turn number three. Michael McNeil doing the same right now. I got a little bit better line that time after nearly smacking the wall. Five down, three to go for heat race number one. Tucker Dowdy still in third spot. Dale Wester hanging on to fourth. Chris Sweeney comfortable right now, rounding out the top five. Dustin Gates, your leader, closing the gap on Harry Arrington. Going to try to put Harry a lap down. Two to go this time around for Gates. The hot shoe out of Houghton, Louisiana. Won the heat race last night. Looking to do the same thing here tonight. A lot smoother racetrack than we had last evening. Gates right around the bottom, hugging the hub in turns three and four. That might not have been the best idea as the white flag comes out. Michael McNeil now with a great run down the front stretch into turn number one. Trying to close the gap on Dustin Gates, but I think it's too little too late as Gates was still a straightaway advantage coming into turn three. The final time, the hot Louisiana hot shoe going to make it two for two in heat race competition. He'll pick up the win in heat race number one. Michael McNeil will be second. Tucker Dowdy will be third. Six cars, the field, eight laps the distance. Gulf South Region heat race number two, getting ready to go green off of turn number four. The field nice and tight, side by side, nose to tail. No better sight in motorsports than that right there, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting ready to go green. Green flags out. We're underway with heat race number two, and it's going to be Adams leading the field into turn number one. Look at Caleb. Oh, and Channon Tankersley going to go around in turn number one. Yellow flag going to come out. Looks like the top two cars, the front row, not really wanting to take off very well. Everybody gets bunched up coming into turn number one. And unpick of your favorite driver, purchase those right here at the racetrack. You can also check out MasseyPortraits.com. That's the website. The pictures maybe you can't find in stock here. Michael and John will have them on the website. You can purchase from them directly. You can get digital prints any size you want. We're going green off of turn number four. Once again, bunching them up. Cody Adams waiting until the last second to go green off of turn four. He'll lead the field into turn number one. Shannon Tankersley around Bruce Crockett. Now side by side with Cody Stacy, trying to get underneath Caleb Martin. Tankersley on the charge to the front. Tank already picked up three spots coming off of turn number four. Going to pick up four. Tankersley from six to second in one lap. Cody Adams is your leader. Shannon Tankersley in second spot. Cody Tankersley third. Last night's feature winner, Caleb Martin, right now struggling in the fourth position. Cody Stacy in fifth. Bruce Crockett rounds out the field in sixth. It's still Cody Adams out front right now on the 21 machine for Butch David Racing. Working around the bottom side of the racetrack, working the hub in turns one and two. Goes high side in three and four. Tankersley on the bottom, going to make it a race off of turn number four. Two car lengths separate the top two cars at the stripe. Tankersley now to the top side of one and two. A weird hop through the middle going to cost him some ground. Cody Adams on the bottom of the racetrack going top side in three and four once again. Tankersley trying to put a slide job on him off of four. Not going to be enough. It's still Adams with the top spot. Caleb Martin has got around Cody Tankersley. Martin now sits in third. Tankersley fourth. Crockett fifth and Cody Stacy rounds out the field in sixth. Chan oh, and Tankersley right into the back of Cody Adams. Adams trying to keep it rolling, not going to be enough. Looks like the lineup is square, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be a single file restart. No passing before the cone and no going under the cone. We've got four laps complete, four laps to go in sprint car heat race number two. Tankersley going to lead him to the green. Caleb Martin in second spot. Cody Tankersley third. Bruce Crockett, Cody Stacy, and Cody Adams now round out the field. Channon Tankersley wants that win real bad. Is leading the point standings for the ASCF Gulf South Region Sprint Cars and is now leading heat race number two. Five down, three to go for Tankersley. Caleb Martin sitting in second spot. Cody Tankersley running him down in the 17G machine. Going to be two to go for Channon Tankersley this time around. One more half mile around South Texas Speedway. Caleb Martin still sitting in second spot, trying to chase down your leader right now. Martin would love nothing more than to sweep the weekend here at South Texas Speedway and make it six grand for himself in the 51 car. The white flag going to be out this time around for Channon Tankersley. One more lap to go here at South Texas Speedway. Caleb Martin in second. Cody Tankersley right there on the bumper in third. A good run for fourth as Cody Adams has gotten around Bruce Crockett. Crockett trying to run him down. It's not going to be enough. The win going to go to Shannon Tankersley in the 17 machine. 
Caleb Martin going to hang on for second. Cody Tangersley will be third. Cody Adams in fourth. And Bruce Crockett rounds out the top five. Cody Stacy rounding out the field in sixth. Derek Rimmers in the 98. And Chad Miller in the 75 make up row number six. And Marsha Hall by herself in row number seven in the 20 car. The lights are out. We're going to be going green flag this time off of four. Top eight going to go to the main event. The rest of them go into the trailer. Green is out. Here we go. And Sewell going to have a drag race with Sandoval down the front chute into turn number one. Sewell on the top side of the racetrack going to have the lead off of turn number two. A good run for the 38 machine around the outside. Joshua Sewell, top shelf once again coming into turn number three. Probably a little bit slicker there than he anticipated. The sprint cars really sucking some of the moisture out of the racetrack. Jesse Sandoval right there in second. We're double file for third. Logan Shunka on the outside. Gary McDonald on the inside. Shunka in third, now McDonald in fourth. Here comes Mike Horelka, a good run for the 19 machine. Horelka sitting in the fifth position. Miguel Mendoza, John Ramirez, and Alexis Hendricks, your final transfer spots. Boy, I tell you what, folks, the top three start to separate themselves away from the rest of the field, and they are nose to tail slicing and dicing for those top three spots. Logan Shunka with a good run off the bottom of turn number two. It's going to be a drag race down the back stretch with Jesse Sandoval into turn three. Shunka right down around the tires, glued to the bottom of the racetrack, going to pick up the second spot off of turn number four. Now, Sandoval going to race back around the outside. A good run for Jesse Sandoval. Sandoval a little snug on the entry of turn number one that time. Once again, we're side by side down the back chute into three. Shunka on the bottom one more time. Driving the car in deep, rotating nicely, but Sandoval once again going to have a superior exit off the top side of the speedway. Shunka now going top shelf in turn number one. Gary McDonald all kinds of out of shape there in fourth spot. Mike Harelka, solid, stable, steady in the fifth spot right now in the 19 machine. Watching this action unfold in front of him. Knows he's got his berth into the A main tonight. Racing for position. The battle still the one for second. Shunka all over the back bumper of the seven machine of Jesse Sandoval. And now with a great run off the bottom of turn two, it looks like Logan Shunka going to take that second spot. Marsha Hall taking the scenic route through the infield. All kinds of out of shape in the 20 machine. Shunka has gotten around Sandoval for second. Joshua Sewell takes the halfway mark. Six down and six to go. Sewell debuting that brand new 38 machine out here a couple of weeks ago at South Texas Speedway. And absolutely loving it. The car is 100% beautiful as a good looking race car and it is handling like a dream around South Texas Speedway tonight. Sewell gonna be closing up on the 75 of Chad Miller to put Miller a lap down. He'll make the move coming into turn number three. Yellow flag gonna come out onto the speedway. It's for the four car of Gary McDonald. McDonald coming to a stop at the bottom of John Ramirez, Alexis Hendricks, and now Marsha Hall with a chance to race into the A main tonight. The lights are out. We're going single file restart off of turn number four this time around. Sewell gonna lead him to the green. We have crossed halfway. Seven laps down, five laps to go in the pure stock B main. Sewell once again leading the field off of turn number two. Logan Shunka a little bit sideways that time off the top side of the racetrack. Jesse, oh, and Mike Horelka, something letting go in the 19 car. Mike Horelka going to park the 19 car in the infield. Joshua Sewell still out front. Logan Shunka, Jesse Sandoval, Miguel Mendoza, John Ramirez, Alexis Hendricks, Marsha Hall, now Derek Rimmers. Racing into the A main. There's a pass for Ramirez on Mendoza. That's for fourth spot on the racetrack. A flat tire on the right rear of the 11 machine may end Mendoza's chances to race in tonight. We've got two laps to go. They're four wide down the back stretch into turn number three. Three wide down the front stretch. Derek Rimmers, Marsha Hall, Alexis Hendricks putting on a show right now. That's five, six, and seven on the racetrack. Miguel Mendoza got one lap to hang on. The white flag comes out. Mendoza in the eighth and final transfer spot right now. The 75 machine getting underneath him off of turn number four. That's going to be Chad Miller. Miller now in the eighth and final transfer spot. The checker flag going to come out. 
Joshua Sewell with the win. Logan Shunka in second. Third spot going to be Jesse Sandoval. Fourth spot will be John Ramirez. Fifth spot will be the 20 of Marsha Hall. Sixth will be Derek Rimmers in the 98. Alexis Hendricks, seventh. And your eighth and final transfer spot will be Chad Miller. Be going green flag this time off of turn number four. Bill Stevens had a pretty good run earlier on in the heat race, picking up the win by a pretty good margin over Pete Arce in second spot. We're going to go green this time off of four. Jason Kelly was your feature winner last night, looking to double up on the weekend. Green flag's out. We're underway. Bill Stevens and Jason Kelly side by side. Kelly with a great run off of turn number two, going to take the lead off the second corner. Bill Stevens in second spot. Matt Fox is third. Adrian Awalt fourth. Pete Arce rounds out the top five. We're still two deep, two rows wide. And Dakota Farquhar. Dakota Farquhar going to loop the 78 over in turn number three. Looks like we're going to get a yellow flag. Caution flag going to come out on the speedway. Double foul behind your leader. There comes Howie Marks back out on the racetrack in the 13 car. Jason Kelly going to lead her to the green this time off of turn number four. Green flag back out. One lap in the books. We're going to send him around under green. Jason Kelly out front. Matt Fox in second spot trying to run him down. A great run off of turn number two for the 53X machine. Kelly still your leader coming into turn number three. Matt Fox work at the bottom side of the racetrack. Holding on to that second spot, about a car length and a half behind your leader, Jason Kelly. Bill Stevens in third, Adrian Awalt fourth. Pete Arce rounds out the top five. Kelly, still your leader. Three laps complete. Oh, two cars collected to one another over in turn number three. Lights are out, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like two laps complete in limited late model main event. Jason Kelly, your leader, was the winner last night here at South Texas Speedway. Matt Fox up to second. Bill Stevens is third. Adrian Awal and Pete Arce round out the top five. We are back underway. Limited late model main event back under green flag racing conditions. Kelly once again leads the field through turns one and two. We're side by side for second spot. Bill Stevens is going to get around Matt Fox off the top of turn number two. Fox back to third, working the bottom side of the racetrack once again. The points at a dead even heat. Matt Fox and Adrian Awalt tied coming into tonight's action with Awalt grabbing second spot last night. Matt Fox with a DNF. Fox with a great run underneath Bill Stevens off of turn number two. It's a drag race down the backstretch into turn number three. Fox trying to ride Stevens up the racetrack. It looks like it's going to, oh, and Adrian Awalt going to go around in turn number three. And the 17 machine not going to refire. We're going to get another yellow. Yellow flag coming back out for the 17 of Adrian Awalt. Remember, Awalt tied right now for the point. Jason Kelly going to lead with the green flag off of turn number four. The lights are out. Kelly, like I said, two wins on the season. One of them coming last night. Would love to sweep the weekend. In the 57 car, Matt Fox going to do his best to do something about that. We come to green off of four. <laughs> Kelly with a clean track out in front of him, leads the field into turn number one. Matt Fox gets around Bill Stevens for second. Howie Marks right now sitting in the fourth spot. A good run for Marks in the 13 car. Pete Arce rounding out the top five. Dylan Mosley in six. Then it's Freddie Vanoy the third. Gary Hunter, Adrian Awalt, Fred Vanoy, and Dakota Farquhar rounding out the field. Bill Stevens slides up the racetrack in the yellow 13S. Here comes Marks underneath him. It's a good run down the back chute into three for Marks on the bottom of the racetrack. The car nice and planted. We'll see what happens off of four. A little bit of bump and rub is what's going to go on. Marks going to take over the third spot, works his way onto the podium. And Bill Stevens going to get in the back of him a little bit in turns one and two. Both cars able to continue on. Your top two have a straightaway ahead of the rest of the field. Jason Kelly cruising right now. He's got a straightaway advantage of his own. 
Matt Fox kind of in no man's land right now in second spot with a good cushion in front, a good cushion behind. If Fox can just hang on and cruise to a second place finish, he'll retake the point lead with Awalt mired back in the field after spinning out in turn number three a couple of laps ago. Dylan Mosley that time very sideways through turn number four, hangs on to the sixth spot right now. Mosley driving the 38M right in front of Adrian Awalt as Awalt gets around Gary Hunter for seventh spot on the racetrack. Pete Arce has gotten around Bill Stevens. Arce up to fourth spot. Stevens back to fifth. Your leader, meanwhile, Jason Kelly with a little less than a straightaway over Matt Fox. Fox trying to run him down in the 53X machine. Problems with the drive line last night, costing him probably a win as we cross the halfway mark. Ten down and ten to go. Ten laps down for your limited late models. Ten laps to go. A 20-lap main event. A long race for these guys. You got to be careful early on in the race not to overdrive the race car, burn off the tires, or cause any damage to yourself. Jason Kelly, patient and smooth around the racetrack. Still Kelly out front, closing in on some back markers. Dakota Farquhar going to be the first car to go a lap down should Kelly catch the tail end of the field. We've got a hard crash in turn number four. That is Gary Hunter and Bill Stevens together. We are going to go red flag. Everybody going to stop on the racetrack. A hard, hard hit. This is in Louisiana. We are going lights out, single file restart, 11 laps complete, nine laps to go. Jason Kelly looking to make it two for two for the weekend here at South Texas Speedway. He's going to be taking the green flag this time off a of turn number four. Matt Fox right behind him, Howie Marks, Pete Arce, and Dylan Mosley round out the top five. We are going green. Two more cars tangled up in turn number four. That's the 42. Uh, and we are going green this time off of turn number four. Jason Kelly going to lead him to it. Into turn number one. Kelly once again leads the field. Matt Fox in second. White flag is out, one more lap to go for Jason Kelly. Matt Fox in second, Howie Marks holding down third, Pete Arce fourth, Adrian Awalt fifth. Into turn three for the final time. It's gonna be double checker flags in the all, and Matt Fox gonna lose it, and Pete Arce with nowhere to go. The checker gonna go to Jason Kelly, Howie Marks and Adrian Awalt gonna finish in second and third. Looks like we're going green off of turn number four. Aaron Letty gonna lead him to it. We're already almost three wide coming into turn number one. Letty on the inside, gonna take the lead through turns one and two. Jerry Walters up to second spot. Here comes Alan Torres in the third position in the 94 car. Torres finishing second last night, looking to pick up one more spot. Looks like we're gonna make lap number one. Letty already a half a straightaway out front. Torres in second, Walters third. Mason Castaneda fourth and Ryan Carlucci rounding out the top five. We are four wide mid pack through turn number one. TJ Sullivan, James Park, Shiloh Broadnax, and Zach Courtney putting on a heck of a show right now. That's for like 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th on the racetrack. Actually 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th. As we come back into turn number one, it's still Letty out front. Torres in the second position. Castaneda still third. Jerry Walter still fourth. A good battle shaping up for fifth. Nathan Rahi with a wheel underneath Ryan Carlucci. Coming into turn number three. Rahi backs out of the throttle, sets the car towards the bottom of the racetrack and tries to take over the fifth position. Not going to be enough. Carlucci with the spot. Some good racing for the 
10th and 11th positions. It's TJ Sullivan and Jamie Deer door to door into turn number three. Sullivan on the bottom of the racetrack gonna pick up a spot. He's gonna get around Robert Danielson. Danielson battling back at the stripe. We've got Derek Rimmers, all kinds of crazy through the infield. No caution, we are gonna stay green. Five laps complete right here for Aaron Letty. Five laps complete. Aaron Letty still your leader. The top three cars starting to pull away for the rest of the field. It's Letty, Torres, and Castaneda. We've got a yellow on the racetrack. Caution flag coming out over in turn number one. That is the 24 of Ryan Carlucci going around. Carlucci was running in the fifth position. Jerry Walters is fourth. James Parks rounding out the top five. Lights are out, ladies and gentlemen. Five down, 15 to go. We're going to go green flag this time off of turn number four. Aaron Letty going to lead him the green flag. Here we go. Back underway with the Pure Stock main event. Alan Torres to the outside. Going to motor around Mason Castaneda. Everybody still behind your leader, Aaron Letty. Look at Castaneda with a good run off the bottom of turn number two. Door to door coming into turn number three. Torres around the outside once again off of turn four. It's still Letty out front. Torres second. Castaneda third. James Parks has worked his way up to fourth. Shiloh Brodnax right now in the fifth position. Then it's Jerry Walters, Nathan Rahi. We are three wide for seven, eight, and nine on the racetrack. Actually, it's eight, nine, and ten. Oh, and Zach Courtney dropping back about three positions down the back stretch into turn number three. Torres gets around for the top spot off of turn number four. Alan Torres to the front in the 94 machine. Aaron Letty battling back on the bottom of the racetrack. Both of those guys, regular competitors at I-37 Speedway just up the road in Pleasanton, Texas. Aaron Letty battling back on the bottom of the racetrack through church three and four. Is it going to be enough? No, Alan Torres going to lead lap number seven. It's Letty, Castaneda, second and third. Parks is fourth. Broadnax up to fifth. Sixth spot belongs to Jerry Walters. Then it's Nathan Rahi, Robert Danielson, TJ Miller, and Jamie Deer rounding out the top ten. Some good side-by-side -side racing now in the middle of the pack. Sean Ward around the outside of Jamie Deer. That's tenth and eleventh on the racetrack. Ward started well back in the field. Started 13th on the racetrack. He's trying to work his way up through the field. He's still about where he started. Having a rough go. Your point leader mired well back in the pack right now. Just crossing halfway, folks. 10 down, 10 to go. It is still Alan Torres by nearly a straightaway over Aaron Letty. Mason Castaneda now closing the gap on second spot. They're slicing and dicing. Castaneda going to the bottom of turn number four. Not going to be enough. Letty still in the runner-up spot. Castaneda holding on to third. We got Jerry Walters around in turn number three. The yellow flag will come out. And Aaron Letty saved by the yellow flag. Going to hang on to that second position. Castaneda quite, didn't quite have the run in it right now. Sitting out front of this thing. And he will lead the field to the green flag this time off of turn number four. Ten laps down, ten laps to go. Torres with two victories here at South Texas Speedway in 2018. Would like to make it three here tonight. We're going back green. And Mason Castaneda working around Aaron Letty on the top side of turn number two. It's a good run down the back shoot off the top side for the young man. In the 28M machine, Castaneda to the second spot. Aaron Letty back to third. Letty now coming under pressure from James Parks. Parks working the high side of the racetrack down to the middle through the middle of the corner. Within half a car of Aaron Letty down the back stretch into turn number three. Torres still your leader. We've got Joshua McCain around in turn number two. We're going to keep him rolling. Good job to all those drivers. On the back side of the racetrack, Zach Courtney going to leave the track in the 2X machine. Courtney's night is done. Still Torres out front. Mason Castaneda in second. A good battle for third. Shaping up as Parks comes into turn three on the bottom side of the racetrack. Underneath Aaron Letty for third spot off of turn number four. Who's it going to be? Still Letty at the line. Aaron Letty trying his hardest to hang on to that podium finish here at South Texas Speedway. First time back in 2018. Would love to have a good run here. 
won the heat race by a sizable margin, doing a fairly decent job here in the main event, hanging on to that third spot in front of last night's feature winner, James Parks. Parks, once again, your winningest driver in pure stock competition here in 2018 sitting fourth in the points right now with five wins, the most recent coming last night. Still Alan Torres out front, quickly approaching the five to go. Actually, there, is, there are five laps left. We've got 15 complete that time around, working on lap number 16 right now. Alan Torres coming up behind Derek Rimmers to put him a lap down. Torres going to make quick work of the 98 machine. 16 down, four to go. Alan Torres, a sizable lead over Mason Castaneda. About a half a straightaway advantage as we make our way down the back chute into turn number three. Torres going to be coming to 17 complete. Three to go this time by. Still Castaneda in second. Still a great battle going on for third. The spot right now belongs to Aaron Letty in the 93. James Parks all over the bumper of that machine. The 33 JP has been on a tear. Like I said, five wins in pure stock competition in 2018. The most recent coming last night here at South Texas Speedway. Two to go for Alan Torres this time around. Two more laps around South Texas. Still Torres, Castaneda, Letty, Parks, and Broadnax. The top five, Robert Danielson in sixth, Nathan Rahi in seventh, Jamie Deere is eighth, Sean Ward ninth, and Jerry Walters rounds out the top ten. White flag going to be in the air this time around. One more lap for Alan Torres. One more lap to go for the 94. Mason Castaneda in the 28M sitting in a solid second position. A good battle for third shaping up. We're getting around the lap car of John Ramirez. Alan Torres with one more set of corners. Going to be taking the double checker flag this time off of turn number four. Torres going to make it three wins in 2018. Castaneda in second. Lenny will be third. Parks will be fourth. Fifth spot going to go to Shiloh Brodnax. Green flag going to come out this time off of turn number four, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Rahi, your point leader. Chase Laven side by side on the front row. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Actually, we are underway for the first time with the EMOD main event. Rahi going to lead him into turn number one. Chase Laven and Gilbert Perez, the third side by side. We're three wide off of turn number two. Joshua Sewell rocketing around the outside of both James Lee and Brianna Weechi. Hard into turn number three on the top side of the racetrack. Sewell was your feature winner last night. Rahi out front right now in the 5A. Josh Sewell still top shelf through turns one and two. Going to try to get around Gilbert Perez for the third spot. He'll do it down the back stretch. Sewell on a tear towards the front of the racetrack. Definitely by far the fastest car on the track right now. Eric Rahi going to lead lap number two. It's still Chase Laven in second. Sewell, though, on the march towards the front in third. We've got one car stopped in turn three, four, actually three cars. Yellow flag row. Come see me first. I'll give you the other stub. You can go down to the T-shirt the stand and get your South Texas Speedway T-shirt. Seven, one, zero, five, three, zero. We are going green off of turn four. Eric Rahi out front. Chase Laven squirrely on the restart. Going to lose this. Oh, and Laven goes around into turn number one. We are going to get another yellow. 5-2-8-0-5. Go see Aaliyah for your J.J. Jennings t-shirt. Aiden, one more. Okay. We got one more J.J. Jennings shirt to give away. Green flag back out on the speedway. Eric Rahi leading them into turn number three. Joshua Sewell topside into the second set of corners. Oh, we've got Roy Walker around. Yellow flag going to come back out.
We're back underway with the EMOD main event. Two laps complete. Eric Rahi leading him into turn number one. Joshua Sewell in second spot. James Lee's worked his way up to third. Brianna Weechi and Dwayne McWhorter side by side through turns one and two. That's for fourth on the racetrack. McWhorter making his way up towards the front. He's got one win on the season in 2018. He would love to pick up another one. Sitting third in points right now, James Lee directly in front, second in the point standings. Those two guys only seven points away from one another and only 10 points and 17 points respectively out of the top spot. Going to be racing side by side through turns three and four. Rahi still out front. Josh trying to run him down. Sewell in the 38 car has four wins on the season, their most recent coming last night. Side-by-side -side racing for the third spot. McWhorter still on the bottom of the racetrack, working underneath James Lee in the 563. Still Rahi out front. Joshua Sewell, though, with a great run that time off the top side of the racetrack into turn number one. Both of them going to go around. Your first and second place cars going Still looking for ticket number 652891 to claim their J.J. Jennings Racing T-shirt. The other ticket has been claimed, 652891. Looking for you. Green flag back out, five laps complete. Emods back at it in the turn number one. Still Rahi out front, James Lee in second. Dwayne McWhorter third, good battle for fourth. Brianna Weechi hanging on to it. Gilbert Perez right behind her in fifth spot. Joshua Sewell trying to make his way back towards the front. Going to loop it in the turn number three. Sewell gets it back underway. Refired. We will stay green. Good battle still for the fourth position. Brianna Weechi holding it down right now in the 59 machine. Gilbert Perez, a wheel underneath into turn number three. Perez hard on the throttle off of four. Not going to be able to take the spot. Hanging on to the fifth position. Eric Rahi, still your leader. A good battle for second now as Dwayne McWhorter is underneath James Lee. Those are your second and third place cars in the point standings right now. Running behind your point leader. Eric Rahi with one win on the season. Would love to pick up another one here tonight. Rahi's still out front in the 5A machine. Dwayne McWhorter's gotten around. James Lee for second. Lee back to third. Brianna Weechi fourth. Gilbert Perez fifth. Roy Walker in sixth with a wheel underneath Perez coming into turn number three. Ashley Dunkirk going to go down a lap as we come to two to go. Roger Sturts going around in turn two. Gets it fired back up. We'll stay green. Rahi still out front. McWhorter still hanging on to that second position. James Lee trying to get back around. Remember, they are second and third in the point standings right now. Rahi is your leader. White flag in the air. One more lap to go. James Lee back underneath Dwayne McWhorter as we come into turn number one. They bump for sure. Both cars still rolling. Lee going to take the position. A little bit of a crossover move. The tail and the nose hang up. They're drag racing into turn number three. McWhorter on the bottom. Lee up top. McWhorter going to take the second spot back. Rahi going to get the win. Who's going to be second? James Lee by a nose win the 563. Going to be inside of row number four. He'll be alongside Cody Beto, second in points in the 77. Ray Shalman in the 2R. Larry Lewis in the 95 make up row five. Jerome Ramirez and the 24 of Jim Blevins Jr. make up row number six. David Shuri and Lawrence Maklicek, row number seven. We are going green. J.J. Jennings and Brian Rice side by side off of turn number two. Jennings going to lead the field down into turn three. We got one around. No, we don't. We do have a caution on the racetrack. Lights are back out, ladies and gentlemen. J.J. Jennings and Brian Rye once again leading them to the green. 
Jennings with a great run off the bottom side of turn number four, going to lead the field into turn number one. Slides up and takes the line away from Brian Rye. Rye right there on the back bumper. We've got cars three wide, two rows deep. Lawrence Maklicek making his way up from the back. Already picked up four spots, make it five as he gets around Larry Lewis into turn number three. Jennings out front, Brian Rye, Dustin Butcher, Brock Bowen, and Hector Aguirre round out the top five. Cody Beto in sixth, Hunter Flanagan seventh. Eighth right now is Chris Rye. Ninth is Lawrence Maklicek. Jennings still out front off of turn number four. Opened up about a four-car length advantage as Dustin Butcher gets around Brian Rye for second. Rye battles back on the outside. Hangs on to the spot at the stripe. They're still side by side going into turn number one. Butcher and Rye door to door off of turn number two. It's a good run down the back chute. The best seat in the house probably belongs to the 56 of Brock Bowen. The wild man going to try to make it a three-car battle for the second spot as Hector Aguirre goes around in turn number three. Aguirre looping it on his own in turn number three. Lawrence Maklicek bringing the 87 machine to a stop with really nowhere to go. We at South Texas Speedway in 2018. J.J. Jennings out front right now. Sitting sixth in the point standings with three wins on the season. The most recent coming last night here at South Texas Speedway. Brock Bowen leading the W column right now with four wins. Sits seventh in the point standings. Make it eighth in the point standings as we go green. And Jennings leads us back into turn number one. We're side by side for second spot. Brock Bowen getting shuffled back a couple of positions. Going to slick back to sixth on the racetrack. The car not so great on the restart that time, and Bowen comes into turn number... Oh, we've got two cars around. Green flag back out once again. Still two laps complete. 18 laps to go. J.J. Jennings going to lead us into turn number one. Brian Rye on the bottom of the racetrack. Here comes Dustin Butcher around the outside. Butcher trying to take over the runner-up spot. He'll do so down the back chute. Cody Beto going to get around Brock Bowen for fourth. Beto now side-by-side side with Brian Rye coming into turn number three. Jennings still your top spot. Dustin Butcher second. Cody Beto gets around Brian Rye for third. The 77 car on a tear. Here in the limited modified main event, Cody Beto running them down towards the front of the field. J.J. Jennings still your leader, Dustin Butcher all over the rear bumpers. We come off a of turn four. It's Jennings, Butcher, Beto, Ryan, Bowen, your top five. Hunter Flanagan in sixth, Chris Rye seventh, Lawrence Maklicek eighth, Larry Lewis and Hector Aguirre round down the top ten. Dustin Butcher on the bottom of the racetrack coming into turn number three. Butcher rolling it through the bottom side of the racetrack, stabs the throttle off the exit. J.J. Jennings going to hang on to it. Back into turn number one off of turn two. Still Jennings out front down the back. Shoot about a two-car length advantage coming into turn number three. Cody Beto driving the 77 in deep, closing the gap very quickly. Just can't get the good exit that he needs to get up and take the second spot. Right now, Beto in a really great position. Sitting in the third spot right now. His best finish probably so far this season. Coming in third last night. Beto having a great weekend so far at South Texas Speedway. Brock Bowen and Brian Rye got a good run going for fourth. Bowen going to get around on the outside of the stripe. The innovative chassis coming along very nicely. In the middle of the limited modified main event, he and Brian Rye doing great racing right now. Door to door off a of turn number two. Rye on the bottom side of the racetrack. That's the best battle on the track right now. Rye on the bottom. Bowen around the outside. Going to take over the fourth spot off a of turn number four. Jennings still the top spot. Dustin Butcher right behind him in second position. We're going to be coming to nine laps complete and 11 to go this time around. Butcher got plenty of time to try to wear Jennings down and get around him for the top spot. Butcher would love to grab a win here at South Texas Speedway in 2018. On the bottom of the racetrack, off of turn number two, Dustin Butcher side by side with Jennings down the back stretch. Into turn number three, they're still door to door. Butcher by a nose. Off the bottom of four, is it going to be Dustin Butcher? No, J.J. Jennings going to lead him at the line. Halfway home, 10 down, 10 to go. Butcher once again on the bottom of the racetrack. Cody Beto with the best seat in the house. The action is up front. 
Butcher, a little bobble that time on turn number two on the bottom of the racetrack, loses a car length and a half. Jennings, comfortable four now, but Butcher, one of the fastest cars on the racetrack. And now Brock Bowen sticks his nose into the top three. He's trying to get underneath Cody Beto. Brock Bowen and Cody Beto setting up a good battle for third. J.J. Jennings now kind of walked away a little bit, about three car lengths coming off of turn number four. Bowen once again underneath Beto for third. Beto finishing on the podium last night. Would love to do so again tonight. The car a little bit straight coming in. Beto really having to pedal the car on the entry, but the exit looks great. Bowen now door to door down the back chute into turn number three. Bowen very good on the bottom of the racetrack. Keeps the car nice and straight. Going to make the move and take the third spot away from Cody Beto. Beto still having a good run in the top five right now. Sits in the fourth position. Brock Bowen now pulling away a little bit. Cody Beto a little squirrely that time off the exit of turn number two. Dustin Butcher has caught your leader again as we get around Jim Blevins Jr. Putting Jim a lap down. Cody, Cody Beto in fourth right now trying to run Brock Bowen back down and retake the third position. Meanwhile, the battle shaping up once again. Dustin Butcher running down J.J. Jennings and David Shuri squirrely and Wow, Dustin Butcher avoids contact, but now here comes Brock Bowen. Butcher has to get on the brakes to miss David Shuri, and now Brock Bowen right there for second spot. The battle now for second. J.J. Jennings very comfortable right now. Going to have a good lead coming through turn number three. Bowen going to put a slight job on Dustin Butcher. Not going to have him cleared, but Bowen going to take the position away. Tries to pinch Butcher into the wall. And Butcher now going to lose a spot to Cody Beto, Brock Bowen. Sliding Butcher all the way to the wall in the 56 car. J.J. Jennings now still out front, but now he's got Brock Bowen, the wild man, and a fan in Texas has come alive here at the end of the race. The 56 car really good through the middle of the corner and a rocket ship off the exit. We are going to be coming to two to go this time off of turn four. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, Brock Bowen now with a look underneath of J.J. Jennings off of turn four. Two to go. Two six, one half mile around South Texas Speedway. Bowen underneath Jennings off of turn number two. He looks like he's going to make the move. No, Jennings going to drag race him down the back chute into three. They're side by side through turn three. Bowen going to do the same thing he did to Dustin Butcher. Slides J.J. up the racetrack, takes the lead off of turn number four. J.J. Jennings trying everything he can to retake the top spot. That might have done it right there. That last move not going to be good enough. Bowen going to cruise to a victory after starting fifth on the racetrack. Brock, Brock Bowen takes the win here at South Texas Speedway. Going green. And Gates going to lead the field into turn number one. Shannon Tankersley in second spot. Tucker Dowdy gets around. We've got a yellow flag on the racetrack. Looks like we're going to bring that one back. Tankersley back a row. It's going to be Tucker Dowdy on the inside of the front row. And Caleb Martin going to be on the outside. Just so we're clear, that wasn't our call. That was the ASCS call. We're going green this time off of Fork. Caleb Martin going to get a good run off the outside of the front row. He'll lead the field down into turn number one. Dustin Gates in second spot nearly loses the car in the middle of turn number one. Tucker Dowdy battling back on the bottom of the racetrack. Into turn number three. Caleb Martin going to lead lap number one. Dustin Gates in second. Tucker Dowdy's third. Shannon Tanker sleeve fourth. Michael McNeil rounds out the top five. The field pretty much single foul around the racetrack. is still pretty good hump coming into turn number one. Caleb Martin is your leader. Dustin Gates from Houghton, Louisiana, working the bottom side of the racetrack through turns three and four. Martin going to lead lap number two. Gates in second spot. Then it's Dowdy in third. Shannon Tankersley right around the bottom of turn number one. Michael McNeil in fifth. Good battle shaping up for the sixth position with Dale Wester and Cody Adams going at it. Seventh spot right now is Cody Stacy. Then it's Chris Sweeney, Cody Tankersley, Bruce Crockett, Mike Vaculik, and Harry Yarrington rounding out the field. Spreading out just a little bit more right through the middle of the corner in turns one and two. Shannon Tankersley all the way up in the loose stuff. Looks like Tank may have missed the setup just a little bit. The car slipping way back.
Caleb Martin still your leader. Like I said, if he picks up the win tonight, not only will it be two victories in a row, it'll be an extra $1,000, making it a $6,000 sweep of the weekend here at South Texas Speedway. Dustin Gates and Tucker Dowdy about to go door to door for second spot. Dowdy running down the 68 machine. The young man out of Sunnyvale, Texas, ran his first 360 Knoxville Nationals this year. And then every single racetrack after that has been a new track for Tucker. Tucker, why don't you look at the ASCS National Tour next year and is looking to step up his game. We've got a pass for the lead into turn number one. Dustin Gates going to lose the 68 machine. Keeps it going in turn number two, but he's going to lose several spots. Gates had his best shot of the night. Going to keep it rolling. It's still Caleb Martin out front, but now Tucker Dowdy has run him down in the 2X machine. The Sunnyvale, Texas driver, as I just said, has raced new track after new track after new track after running the 360 Nationals back in August. Tucker Dowdy trying to run down your leader off a of turn number four. It's still Caleb Martin out front, the courting sponsor, number 51 machine, the Blaine's Motor Supply. Smiley Racing Products back, number two, X Machine with a great drive off the bottom of turn number two. Only about three car lengths separate the two as we come into turn number three. Martin about a lane and a half off the bottom. Tucker right around the tires. Shannon Tankersley has now made this a three-car battle, working his way back up towards the front. Tankersley right around the bottom of turns number one and two on the west end of the east, east end of the racetrack. Caleb Martin now dealing with a zero car of Mike Vaculic. Vaculic going to go a lap down. Martin makes the move off of turn number four. Dowdy going to do the same thing coming into turn number one. Still sitting in the second position. It's still Shannon Tankersley third. Cody Adams is fourth. Michael McNeil rounds out the top five. Dale Wester in sixth. Dustin Gates seventh. And it's Cody Stacy, Chris Sweeney, Bruce Crockett, Cody Tankersley, and Harry Arrington rounding out the field. Caleb Martin starting to walk away with this one. The battle for second intensifies as Shannon Tankersley has closed the gap after moving to the bottom of the racetrack. Tucker Dowdy working the bottom of the track in a one and two, trying to close the gap up on Caleb Martin. Shannon Tankersley getting around Harry Yarrington off of turn number two. Tank going to try to work his way back up towards the front and make it a three-car battle for the top spot. Caleb Martin stretching a lead back out to almost a straightaway as we come into turn number one. Cody Tankersley going to go a lap down this time around. Lap number 14 going to be in the books as we come across the start-finish line. Tucker Dowdy now, maybe going to catch a break as Caleb Martin having trouble with Bruce Crockett. Dowdy less than a straightaway behind now. Martin still struggling to get around the crazy eight cars. We come off a of turn four, he'll make the move. 15 laps down, make it 14 laps down, 11 laps to go for Caleb Martin, your leader. Tucker Dowdy going to make the move up at turn number two, gets around Bruce Crockett. Now we're less than half a straightaway behind the leader. Dowdy could really use a caution coming off at turn number four, trying to run down your leader. Lap traffic again coming into play. The 0-2 of Harry Arrington going to get put down a lap. Oh, a little bit of contact there as Dowdy uses every inch of the bottom of the racetrack to sneak. We've got a yellow. We've got a caution for Dustin Gates. Tough break for the driver out of Houghton, Louisiana, bringing it to a stop at the top of turn number four. On the east end in turn number two, unfortunately couldn't do the same at the top of turn number four. The lights are out. We're going to be going green. 16 laps complete. Nine laps to go for Caleb Martin. Tucker Dowdy going to be looking to get underneath and take the win and pick up $3,000 tonight as we go back green. And everybody right down around the tires as we come into turn number one. Caleb Martin going to get a great exit and open up about a three-car length advantage coming down the back chute into three. Shannon Tankersley in third spot. Cody Adams in fourth. Dale Wester rounding out the top five. A good run for Dale tonight after struggling last night in the 12W machine. And Caleb Martin, I think unless we get into lap traffic, this one might go to the 51 machine. Tucker Dowdy trying everything in his power to run him down. The car a little bit better than it was last night. Tucker very happy with the race car this evening. Been throwing the book at it, he said, down on the front stretch. Oh, we missed the entrance and slide up the racetrack. Lucky for Tucker, Shannon Tankersley does the same thing. Tuck slings the car down into turn number three. Caleb Martin walking away with this one almost a straightaway at the line. Eighteen laps down, seven laps to go. We are quickly closing on the back markers of this field. Caleb Martin already. Closing in on Harry Arrington. Martin right around the tires. The crazy thing about this, ladies and gentlemen, these drivers can't see the front wheels. Don't know where the front end of the race car is. They're basically driving blind. They're on good faith that they know the front end of this race car to keep it off the tires. 
Martin going to be right underneath Harry Arrington, putting Arrington a lap down, coming off of turn number four. Dowdy going to get underneath as we come into turn number one. Should be quickly approaching the five lap. Actually, we're past that. We're going to complete lap number 22 this time around. Caleb Martin going to have three laps left at the line. Three more times around South Texas Speedway, three quarters of a mile. Caleb Martin gets around Mike Bakulik. Tucker Dowdy going to have to run him down this time. We'll make it work down the back straight into turn number three. Two laps to go for Martin. Tucker Dowdy still second, Shannon Tankersley still third, working right down around the tires. Unfortunately, the racetrack making us down around the bottom tonight. The white flag gonna be out this time around for Caleb Martin, one more lap to go. One more quarter mile for the Corning sponsor, number 51 machine, Martin looking to pick up $6,000 on the weekend. Oh, we've got a car around, it's Cody Stacy in turn number two. We are going to have a green-white checker finish, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Stacy, unfortunately, going around to the top of turn number two, the young man out of Goliad, Texas. Lights are out, ladies and gentlemen. Green-white checker finish. We are coming to it this time off of four. Caleb Martin going to lead him down the front boulevard in the first corner. Right around the tires. Once again, Tucker Dowdy a little squirrely on entry. Going to hang on to that second spot. Caleb Martin going to come through turn number three off of turn four. Going to be looking squarely at the white flag this time around. One more quarter mile separates him from $6,000. Tucker Dowdy still in second spot. I don't think it's going to be enough. Caleb Martin just great on the restart. Tuck trying to run him down, but I don't think it's going to happen as we come into turn three for the final time. The double checker flag is going to wave. Caleb Martin going to pick up $6,000 on the weekend. Tucker Dowdy going to be in second, Shannon Tankersley will finish the race in third. 